Hey everybody, how's it going? Ah, strawberry green tea. So this video, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how I take some uh, free images off the internet and legal and create a t-shirt design. Well, actually I use design for t-shirt and for mugs that you can um, use uh, for merch or printful files. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the process of creating the file for a merch or printful t-shirt. And you can redo it for whatever products you want to sell, but that's what we're going to do here. And we're going to use Illustrator because I like using vector files whenever I can because vector files, unlike normal image files, vectors you can resize any way as large as you want with no degradation. Degra without messing up the image, you know, so it still looks good no matter how big or how small it is. Normally when you do that in Photoshop, if you try to blow up an image, um, if you just pull up a little bit, it's probably not gonna make a difference, but if you blow it up a decent amount, it's gonna become pixelated because Photoshop files are bitmap and they're pixel based. So if you blow it up, you have pixel missing. Or vector files are mathematics, mathematically based. And so it calculates the size and yeah, you, the image looks great no matter what size you do it. So I try to make all my graphics in um, vector-based, which is Illustrator. Now, you can get Illustrator in Photoshop packages on a monthly subscription. Go to adobe.com. I don't know how much it goes for now. I know Photoshop, you can get Photoshop and Lightroom for $10 a month. Um, they always have deals going on. I'm currently on a deal where I'm paying $30 a month for every software package I have. In the old days, each of those softwares cost like six to $800. So I, I, and you get all the updates free and everything. So I think it's a good deal. Um, they have Illustrator for Vector, Photoshop for Pixel. Um, if you're into doing videos like this, you, they got Premiere, which does video editing. Um, there's lots of programs and it's a good service. I, I don't get anything. I'm just promoting them because I use them and I like them. Uh, there is a free version of Illustrator out there called Inkscape or something like that. You have to Google it. It's a vector-based program, so you can do a lot of stuff I'm going to show you. Um, and I'm not really going to show you any cool tricks or anything, but you can do that all in this Inkscape program if you don't want to pay for Illustrator. Uh, I think that's it. Oh, another thing I mentioned when you do the subscription with Illustrator in Photoshop is you get the iPad apps as well. And you get a, a what they call Creative Cloud. It's just a cloud storage. So you can save your items to the cloud storage and you can start working on them again on your iPad and then save them and come back and work them on your desktop. Another great feature I like about it. But anyway, let's get busy and show you how to do this. Hey everybody, if you want to look at me in my glorious beard, I'm down here in the lower right corner. But we're gonna start off here. And this is a website that Catherine Shelton of Treasure Hunter pointed me to. It's Pixabay, and it's a great way to find uh, great images and graphics that are f uh, royalty free and public domain, meaning you can use them for your commercial endeavors. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a t shirt. Let me go find it and I can show you. I've already made this t shirt, but uh, I'll show you how I went about to get it. So, this is the t shirt. So, I'm going to show you what I did. As I first went here and typed in whale, we're going to type in whales. So let's see. So here we go. I went down here and I found a whale I liked. I actually picked one of these whales here, but he was too happy for the mood of this shirt. But I liked his spout, spout here. So I did a free download. I'm not going to do it again. But since I, I said already, I like doing work in vectors. So I clicked vector graphic. And if you're going to work in Photoshop or something, you might want to just click the original PNG. Or, yeah, it's, it's a PNG file. Let's see. Let's go back and see if I can find the other whale that I grabbed. <laughs> I'm not seeing him here, but I did grab him from here as well. But anyway, I downloaded those two. Uh, what I could probably do to speed it up is, was it this one? Yeah, here he is. So I did the same thing, did the download and click the SFG and I downloaded it. 
So the next thing I do is I'm going to go into Illustrator. Let me just delete a few files here that I have open. And so first what I, I did a I just did a control N and I created a new or it's command N on Mac users. Uh, a new document. And then I went and found my whales by doing command O and I did a search real quick whale. I think that's how I found them. They're not there. Let's go this Mac. Well, there's one of them. Er, what's the other one called? Uh, probably should have prepped for this a little more. I think I have them in here. I thought I might have them in my to-dos. Probably name something else and... Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and download that whale again, since I can't find him. So let's go back to the website. Back, back, back. And it doesn't matter which one I grab, because the sprouts are they're about the same, just color-wise. Let's grab the pink one here. Let's download him. SFG download. Uh, do I have to log in? Let's log in. It's a free account. Just do it with login with Facebook. That easy. Download. And it download into my download folder, which is probably where the other one is. Go back to here. Commando. We're going to look up whale. Oops. And bring in these two files. Let's go to all my files. There's one. We're going to open him up. And let's go find the other one where he was at. Command O. Yeah, I think I did this Mac with him. Whale. This Mac. There he is. So we're going to open him up. And first we're just going to click and drag this to my new document. And boom, there he is. I, I'm not, I don't really care about size because I can vector size this any way I want. I'm going to go over here and right now this is one big image. SOG. I'm going to go to Object Ungroup. And I think I have to do that twice until you see up here, it says Mixed Object. Click anywhere. And now all the elements are separated. So I don't really care about the whale. I just want the spout. So I'm going to delete the other stuff. And then I'm going to, you know, grab the spout and regroup that as one group. And then click and drag it back to my new document. It's kind of big. So I'm going to hold the Shift key down and click on a corner and make it smaller. When you hold the shift key down, it keeps the ratio. Otherwise, you see, if I just go like this, it's going to squish it. But if I hold the shift key, it's going to keep the ratio. And it's just easier to drag from the corner. So that's about right. So I'm going to take the whole thing. I'm going to object group that so I can just click and easily move it. And next, I'm going to put some text in the bottom. So what you do here is I'm going to move this palette over so you can see it. In your toolbar, you can click the type tool and you can't see it. Let me move this down for you. There we go. I'm going to increase the font to 72 so I can make it kind of big and write mornings below. Now I don't like that font so what I'll do is I'll double click it while I'm in the uh, type, type tool. I'll click and hover over here I'm going to start from the beginning, and I, as soon as I'm hovering over a font, I'm going to start using the down arrows. And what that does is it will step through each font, and I can see what it's going to look like until I find a font I like. And this is only the fonts I have in my system. You can download hundreds of free fonts anywhere. The font is one I like to use, but... Um, and I... I kind of like that one. It's called Barber Joe something or another here. So what you got to do now is click that font. You can't just walk away. Otherwise, it goes back to the original. You click that font. Click my selection tool. And there you go. That looks kind of cool. It's not the same font I used last time, but I kind of like the font. So 
What you also want to do, especially for Printful, is you want to make this a, uh, instead of a font file, otherwise you have to embed the fonts, is I hit Object, Expand, and that kind of vectorizes it, you know, um, as objects instead of a font and text. You can see how the paths are all around the text now. So I can't edit this text like I normally could now. It's now a an object, a, a vector object. And that way I don't have to embed the, the font into the file. And both Printful and Merch will be able to use that. And it's the right size I want. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead again. I can use my mouse to select everything or I can hit Command A. I can do Command A and that will grab everything. And I'm going to group everything together. So it's one group now. It's easier to move around that way. So I don't lose my pieces. So next what I want to do is Amazon Merch has templates. And let's, let me just go this, get this right back to the original. So that's what your, your Amazon templates. You can download this from Amazon Merch um, site. They have an a Illustrator version and they have a Photoshop version. And they can be used in the most, uh, best I can recall, is they can be used in the free versions, which is Inkscape and GIMP or whatever other Photoshop program. But this is what, it makes it easy. It will save your file at exact file size they want. And plus you get to preview what it's going to look like on different shirts and everything before you've created your file. So what you want to do first, I'm, I don't really care about backs. Who cares about backs? I, I haven't done a shirt with the back yet. So just kind of visually ignore that. You just kind of want to look here at the front of the shirt. And the first thing you want to do over here, you see the layer palette on the left hand side here, is you want to find here under the design group. And I just go ahead and delete. Just click and drag it down to the trash can. That shirt they had there, a blank design. And then I go ahead and highlight that group there, design. Now we go back to our design here. I'm going to click and drag up the template tab and bring it down here in the middle and then release. Looks well, kind of small. But the great thing, vector, we can sit here and hit the shift key and hold the shift key down, grab a corner, and move it to the size we want. And then we can also move it up and down to where we want it on the shirt and hit enter. Whoop, I forgot that's in Photoshop. In, in uh, Illustrator, you just click anywhere outside of the graphic and it goes away. The trans uh, transform goes away. So there it is. Now what you want to do is really quick is go down here where it says shirt colors. When you open this up, it will probably be closed like that. Click the little arrow next to shirt colors and it shows you all the shirt colors that Amazon offers. Hit the little eyeball right here in the, the far left column is the visibility. So you click that eye so it's going to show the shirt colors and lemon selected and I don't like lemon. I usually test first in black. And see right there my uh, text is a little light. What I'm going to have to do here is click this object ungroup. we got about four minutes here, so I'm going to speed this up. And then I can click out. And then I can click the text only, hold the shift key down, and click the color up here. And I can say I can make it white. And then click anywhere out, and you're good. I don't have to regroup it again because the size is great and everything, so I'm good. So and I can go through here and click the eyeballs to all the different colors and see, make sure it looks good in all the colors I plan on offering. Once you're done with that, make sure the eyeball on the shirt is off. You're going to go to up here, up where you can't see it, but click on File, click on Export, and then Export As. In this dialog box, really important, you're going to make sure it's PNG, which it typically is. Use Artboards. And you're only doing the front, so you want to do range and artboard one. And that's going to be only the front t-shirt. And then you hit export. And then make sure resolution is at high 300 DPI or PPI. 
Make sure anti-aliasing is at art optimized super sampling, transparent, and then hit OK. And then um, mine already exists, so you want to not replace that and save it as a new file. And once that's saved, it will give you a nice, um, let's see, I got a couple minutes here left on this. So I can bring it up real quick. Do, 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 do. Amazon Drive, my templates, and let's grab my old template. And let's open it up in, oh, it's going to open up in Preview. I was going to open up in Photoshop. There, there it is. It's nice. It's exact size that um, both Merch and PNG want, and uh, Merch and Printful want. So you can load it up to either site as your T-shirt. So that is it for today. Uh, I got two more minutes. Let me just double, double check. I had everything done right, but yeah. You saw it. So that's real quick. That's grabbing some files, making a quick t-shirt. And since this video is less than 15 minutes, it takes you another couple minutes to load it up to Merch or load it up to Printful. And I've shown you that in previous videos. I think I've shown Printful. I don't know if I've shown Merch, but there's lots of videos how to do a Merch. That's all there is. You can have literally a t-shirt done in under 15 minutes. You can crank out four in an hour. And go, of course, I didn't show you the research part, but once you know what you want to do, boom, boom, boom. It's really quick and easy. So that's it. In a nutshell, we grabbed some graphics. We brought them into Illustrator, added some text, brought it into our Amazon Merch t shirt template, and created a file that can be uploaded to Merch and Printful to sell your t-shirts. Any questions, go ahead and leave the comments below. I appreciate likes. I appreciate subscriptions. If you're going to start a Printful store, I appreciate you using the link below to uh, to start your Printful store. It gives me a little something something when you do that, and I appreciate it. Till next time, choose to be happy. See you guys later.